Welcome to SAU Magazine, a weekly news program coming to you from Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia. This is a Southern Arkansas University News Brief. I'm Heather Brown. And I'm Anne Marie Pine. A longtime SAU professor dies unexpectedly. Dr. Hugh Johnson passed away Monday morning. He had served as a professor of biology since 1970. Johnson was named SAU Honor Professor for the 2002-2003 academic year. Visitation took place Wednesday evening with the funeral Thursday morning at First United Methodist Church of Magnolia. Dr. Walter L. Bubba Smith, pastor at the church, delivered the eulogy. Dr. Johnson was buried in Plano, Texas. In lieu of flowers, donations can be made to the SAU Biology Department or First United Methodist Church Building Fund. Education reform is the topic at this year's Albemarle Lecture. Guest speaker is Steve Pafko, president and co-founder of XTO Energy. His lecture is titled, Scientific Advancement and Its Implication for Instructional Delivery. It is sponsored by Albemarle Corporation and the College of Education. PAFCO has participated in education and training studies for more than 20 years. They include work for the U.S. Department of Education, National Alliance of Business, and U.S. Department of Labor. The lecture is Monday at 11 a.m. in the Reynolds Center Foundation Hall. The Walton Delta Teachers Program is discussed at a national forum. It took place at the Frederick D. Patterson Research Conference in Washington, D.C. Jafet Makia, instructor of writing and director of the Walton Program, made two presentations. One focused on the Delta Teacher Scholars Program designed to create opportunities for African American pre-service teachers. The second addressed teacher education programs and minority students. Also attending from SAU were Dr. Ruby Burgess, Dean of the College of Education, and two Walton Delta Scholars. New courses are available in the Department of Nursing. The Associate Degree Program will offer beginning courses each year, one in the spring and one each fall. To ensure enrollment in these courses, students must schedule appointments with nursing faculty advisors. Interested students must complete enrollment applications at the Office of Admissions. Copies of transcripts must be provided as soon as possible. SCU also plans to offer the RN2 BSN program for qualified registered nurses. The Arkansas Small Business Development Center sponsors a financial seminar. It was titled Starting a Business in Arkansas. The seminar prepared individuals for an intensive business planning process. It emphasized steps crucial to starting a business and discussed key issues that affect success. The seminar also discussed startup requirements and pitfalls individuals face as entrepreneurs. The Spanish Club offers a migrant worker program. It has started this program to help Spanish-speaking residents sharpen their English reading and writing abilities. Students will also learn to use and expand their Spanish skills. The first meeting had seven participants, but students hope to attract more in the future. The group meets in Wilson 327 from 8 to 9 p.m. on Tuesdays. They're hoping to expand the program to two nights a week. This has been a Southern Arkansas University News Brief. I'm Anne Marie Pine. And I'm Heather Brown. With an SAU profile, I'm Brandy Birbaum. University Health Service is an essential part of the Southern Arkansas University campus. Primary health care is provided for students, faculty, and staff. Patients are seen on a drop-in basis and are screened and assessed by nurse practitioner Judy Hines. All students are eligible for health services. They include health promotion, physical assessment, first aid, pregnancy tests, treatment for illness, emergency, and self-care. University Health Service is located in the Reynolds Center, room 215. It is open from 7.30 a.m. until 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Emergency after-hour contacts include University Police, 911, and Magnolia Hospital. The mission of University Health Service is to provide the highest level of health care to students, faculty, and staff. With an SAU profile, I'm Brandi Beerbaum.
SAU Sports, I'm Casey Boddy. And I'm Kathleen Langston. In football, SAU wins its season finale. The Mule Riders traveled to Arkadelphia and defeated Henderson State 31-27. Leading 28-14 after three quarters, SAU put down a late comeback by Henderson. The Mule Riders closed the 2004 season at 5-6 and 3-6 and and in the Gulf South Conference. An SAU football player receives a national award for defensive excellence. Linebacker Keenan Washington received honorable mention recognition as Pizza Hut NCAA Division II Defensive Player of the Week. He had 16 tackles, including eight solos, one tackle for a loss, and a forced fumble against Valdosta State. He shares this honor with nine others in the nation. An SAU cross-country runner qualifies for national competition. SAU participated in the NCAA Division II Men's South Regional Championship in Memphis. The Mule Riders placed 12th out of 22 teams. Adrian Romanos finished 10th overall to qualify for the Division II National Cross Country Meet on November 20th at the University of Southern Indiana in Evansville. The faculty and staff co-ed intramural volleyball team will be defending its title in this year's indoor season. All faculty and staff members are urged to sign up. It is a great way to relieve stress, get physical, and interact with students outside classrooms. To sign up, contact Steve Dingman. Names of participants will be given to Leonard Biddle. SAU Sports, I'm Kathleen Langston. And I'm Casey Boddy. With commentary, I'm Brian Jones. And I'm Calvin McGee. Since fall 2003, SAU has put its best foot forward with ongoing construction work. Even so, many have forgotten about what we have maintained for years. Harton Theater, Wilkins Stadium, and the gym are in need of repair. We appreciate the effort and money being put into new projects. But if we are to have new facilities, we should also maintain the ones we have. Buildings under construction are not the only necessity. In order to compete with other institutions in the state, we must improve current facilities. It builds a reputation of a top-notch school at a reasonable cost because we cannot have quality entertainment without proper facilities. Let's make sure SAU recognizes that its older buildings are just as important as the new ones. With commentary, I'm Calvin McGee. And I'm Brian Jones. With an SAU police log, I'm Todd Flanagan. And I'm Josie Lindgren. On October 22nd, breaking or entering, theft of property, a student reported that his vehicle was broken into while it was parked at Reynolds. The CD player was reported stolen. Theft of property. The physical plant reported that a voltage meter was stolen out of one of their trucks. On October 25th, motor vehicle accident. A two-vehicle accident occurred at East University and North Jackson. On October 26th, rape. A student reported that she was raped by an acquaintance. Theft of property. Over $1,000 in cash was stolen from the president's ambassadors. Arrest on warrant. A non-affiliated person was arrested on a warrant after being stopped for a traffic violation. On October 27th, motor vehicle accident. A two-vehicle accident occurred on East Lane in front of Bussey Hall. On October 28th, arrest on warrant. A non-affiliated person was arrested on a warrant after being stopped for a traffic violation. On November 1st, damage to property. A student reported that a tree limb fell on her vehicle during a storm on October 30th, causing damage to her vehicle. On November 3rd, motor vehicle accident. A vehicle driven by a high school student struck another high school student as she was crossing the street in front of the Reynolds Center during preview day. The pedestrian was not crossing the street in a marked crosswalk. The pedestrian was transported to the hospital by ambulance and later released with minor injuries. No citations were issued. Theft of property. Numerous items were stolen from a school bus that brought prospective students to preview day. The bus was parked across from the Reynolds Center. On November 5th, theft of property. A student reported the theft of some cash from his wallet. The student and the wallet were in his locked apartment at the University Village. Theft of property. A construction contractor reported the theft of tools that were stolen in April after the tools turned up in an area pawn shop. A suspect has been identified and a warrant is pending. With an SAU police log, I'm Todd Flanagan. And I'm Josie Lindgren. College Newswire, I'm Amber Goodwin. And I'm Tim McClark. Ryan College is named Best Southeastern College by the Princeton Review, a selection based on the best 
357 Colleges of 2005 survey. The survey asked students 70 questions about their schools. Rankings are based on surveys of more than 110,000 students. Lions students who participated in the survey spoke positively about the school. The Princeton Review's goal is to identify and raise public awareness to some of the colleges it feels stands out in each region. The University of Arkansas at Fort Smith observes non-traditional student week. Events kicked off with the mayor of Fort Smith issuing an official proclamation. The Organization of Adult and Returning Students sponsored a Get to Know Your Chancellor box lunch. A single parent seminar was also held. Ours is open to any adult returning student. There is no age requirement. The event allows non-traditional students to feel appreciated. It also lets them know that they're an important part of campus life. College Newswire, I'm Tamara Clark. And I'm Amber Goodwin. With this week's entertainment news, I'm Angie Harwell. And I'm Kareen Mundley. Students of James Thomas two-dimensional art design class will exhibit their works in the Rosemary Ray Regional Arts and Education Gallery from now through December 10th. The exhibition, located on the first floor of Miguel Library, is free and open to the public. The gallery is open from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Mondays through Thursdays, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Fridays, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturdays, and 2 to 9 p.m. on Sundays. In an effort to raise funds for the Angel Tree, Sigma Tau Delta is selling their shirts at a lower price than usual. One shirt is $7, with two selling for $10. Shirts are available from Dr. Shannon Schrader, Associate Professor in the Department of English and Foreign Languages, failed SAU slogans or got mule or sayings on the shirts. The College of Liberal and Performing Arts and the Department of Music present their Fall Choral Concert. It takes place Thursday at 7.30 p.m. at First United Methodist Church in Magnolia. The concert will feature the heritage singers and chamber singers. Dr. Alan Clements will serve as conductor, accompanied by Judy Barham. The concert is free and open to the public. The Department of Continuing Education and Department of Arts offer a workshop. It is designed for children 4 to 12 years of age. It will be held on November 16th and 30th, followed by a reception on December 7th. SAU students and Stephen Oaks, Associate Professor of Art, will teach the workshop. It will cost $15 for one child and $25 for two, with a third child free if all are in the same family. The group will be limited to 20. For more information, contact the Office of Continuing Studies. And that's this week's entertainment news. The SAU Broadcast Journalism Degree Program features a wide variety of professional experiences. Students are responsible for producing and marketing radio and television programs each semester. SAU Magazine, a radio news program, is available to stations in Arkansas and bordering states. The SAU Report, a television interview program, is available to cable systems in southwest Arkansas and northeast Texas. More than a dozen courses are offered in the SAU Broadcast Journalism Degree Program. Writing, reporting, and hands-on experience experiences are stressed in these courses. In addition, graduating students are more perceptive analysts of mass communication and broadcast journalism. They are very competitive in the job field and for opportunities as graduate students. Information about the Broadcast Journalism Degree Program can be found on the internet at saumag.edu. That's saumag.edu for an excellent educational opportunity. With this week's SAU calendar, I'm Kareem Marashi. On Monday, November 15th, spring advanced registration for students with 30 plus hours continues. At 4 p.m., SGA Traffic Appeals Court. On Tuesday, at 6 p.m., a meeting of the Residence Hall Association. The film series Research Revolution continues at 7 p.m. Wednesday, November 17th, a biology club meeting at 5 p.m. And 6.30 p.m., a meeting of the Student Government Association. On Thursday, a J Board meeting at 5.30, and at 7 p.m., the 2004 Emerson Thomas Crome Lecture by humorous Sandra Val. Friday, November 19th, La Tertulia, a Spanish language forum in Wilson 327. And on Saturday, the NCAA Cross Country Nationals take place, with SAU's Adrian Romanos participating. And that's this week's SAU calendar.
SAU Magazine is a production of broadcast journalism students in the Department of Theater and Mass Communication at Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia.